Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Creating Process. Today we'll be designing this spelling text effect in Photoshop. To create this, we'll first type out the text and add a texture using clipping mask option. Then we'll duplicate the text and give paling effect using web and layer style option. Then we'll add shadow with a nice depth of field using tilt shift option. So let's begin the tutorial. First open a new Photoshop document. Unlock the background layer and change the foreground color to light yellow. Then apply it using the shortcut Alt Backspace. Now the first thing we're gonna do is to type out the text. So using the text tool, type out outside. Change the text color to black using color picker option. Next, choose a proper font. We'll give STIX general regular font and give little spacing between two alphabets. Next, select the ellipse tool and draw a circle. Change the fill color to black from the color swatches. Next, we'll add space texture to the text. So we'll drag in this image and place it just above the text layer. Now we'll apply clipping mask. So with the all pressed, just click. And you can see that the texture has been applied. Scale up the text and position the texture properly. Next, we'll apply texture to the circle also. So we'll drag in on the space image and place it just above the circle layer. Then apply clipping mask. This way we have applied texture to our design. Next, let's go further and create field text surface. So first of all, convert the text layer to smart object. Then create a duplicate of it. Let's reassign the clipping mask back to its earlier position. And bring the duplicated layer on top. Now using the transform option invert the text. Then using the start option we'll give slight tilt to the text. Next we'll create another duplicate of this layer. We'll use this layer to add drop shadow. So again using the transform option scale up the length then using the start option give more tilt to the shape. Now let's change the color of the middle text. So open layer style panel and apply color overlay. Change the color to white and click OK. In the same way let's give color overlay to the shadow text also. For this let's choose dark faded yellow color and click OK. Now let's modify the shape. So right click and choose wrap option. Then start adjusting the shape. Click and drag to make some area broader and some narrow to show some perspective view difference. Keep on adjusting until you get the desired look. Now we'll add thickness to the text. So open layer style panel and apply bevel and embers. Change the color to faded brown and click OK. Now unhide the shadow layer and using wrap option let's do little adjustments with the shape. Then press enter. Next we'll give blur to the shadow. So go to filter blur gallery till shift. With this, you can adjust the range and rotation of blur depth. Let's set the blur value around 16 pixel and press enter. Next, let's do little changes to the shadow color. Change the color to lighter tone. We'll also do little adjustments with the pale surface text. So open the layer style panel and apply gradient overlay and uncheck color overlay. Now under gradient overlay, click on gradient to open gradient editor. Here change the left slider color to white and the right slider color to light yellow. Drag the left slider closer to the other end to give nice blend to the text. Then click OK. Let's do little more adjustments with the shapes and make sure that their ends are in contact with our main text. Now under Babylon Ambers, set the depth to 105% 
and the size to 2 pixel. Now we'll create the peeled surface for the circle. So create a circle using the ellipse tool. Change the fill color to white on the properties panel and place it just below the circle. Now using add anchor point tool, add two anchor points, one here and the other around here. And using delete anchor point tool, delete the central anchor point. Now using the direct selection tool, select the handles and adjust the curves. Click and drag the anchor points to give an oval shape. Next, we'll add thickness. So open layer style panel and under bevel and ambers, set the depth to 147% and the size to 1 pixel. Also, change the color to dark faded brown. Now to create drop shadow, we'll create under duplicate of this layer. Delete the styles. And using wrap option, let's modify the shape. To change the color, select the shape tool. And under fill panel, choose the color. Now let's modify the shape. Click and drag to give nice curve. Next, we'll give depth of field to the shadow. So first, convert the layer to smart object. Then go to filter, blur gallery, del shift. Set the range and the rotation with a blur value around 24 pixel. Next, we'll add depth of field to the peeled surface text also. So select the shape and apply tilt shift. We'll try to give the base sharp and as it goes further, it blurs out. Do the same for the oval peeled surface. Apply tilt shift and set the blur value around 3 pixel. Now we'll add inner shadow to the texture text and the shape. So open layer style panel and activate inner shadow. Change the angle of rotation to 67 degree and the distance to 10 pixel. In the same way, open the layer style panel for the circle and under inner shadow, set a distance to 23 pixel with a size around 9 pixel. We can also give outer glow to the text to add nice effect to the text. Next, to adjust the texture color, we'll add hue and saturation adjustment layer. Click on this icon to apply only to your texture. Adjust the hue slider to little bluish tone. We'll also add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer and adjust the values. We'll create a duplicate of this and apply it to the text texture also. With the all pressed, Apply clipping mask for both the adjustment layers. Adjust the adjustment layers to play around with the texture color. To give more realistic effect to the shadow, open layer style panel and apply pattern overlay. Here, choose a pattern from the pattern library and reduce the scale to 55%. Change the blend mode to overlay and reduce the opacity to 18%. In the same way, add pattern to the text shadow, but you have to uncheck the color overlay to see the effect. To fix the color, double click on the thumbnail and here change the text color using the color picker and save the file. It will be updated in our main file. There's one more thing, you can also change the text very easily. Double click on the text thumbnail to open the text file. Here, change the text and save it. You can see that the text are changed with their shadows and a peeled effect. You can go on adjusting each and every element until the design seems perfect. Finally, we have completed designing peeled surface text effect in Photoshop. During the process, we have learned how to add texture using clipping mask option, creating peeling effect using wrap and layer style option, than adding shadows with nice depth of field. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up. And if you want more updates on designing, don't forget to like, share and subscribe this channel. Thank you.